Hello friends, this is Bob and Natalie. They're from South Dakota and they've had problem with their refrigerator. It was a 1200 Norcold and basically I'm going to let them tell the story and what led them here. Yeah, we were uh, spending the season up in Vermont uh, this year when uh, we were running our unit on LP gas because it was cheaper to run it on LP than electricity. So we were running on LP and then one day it just wasn't being as cool as it should have been. It wasn't as cold as it should have been. Mm -hmm. So we, we got a hold of a local service guy, uh, mobile, mobile RV repair guy. And he came out to the, uh, the uh, campground we were staying at and he did, he checked the the obvious things, you know, looked at the flame and, yeah, flame looks good. Hung an ammeter meter on there, said, oh yeah, the juice looks good. And uh, he said, but I don't really see anything. But let me check with the manufacturer, Norcold, and I'll get back with you. In the meantime, he had us uh, run it for 24 hours to check the temperature. Right, without opening the doors. And it still wasn't cooling. And that was probably pretty inconvenient things you were living out of it. Yeah, the, we are full timers. So yeah, that's our home. Right. Yeah, so going hungry for 24 hours. <laughs> we made it though. Good. You know? And uh, then he came back after about two or three days and said, uh, well, you know, I'm really kind of busy I really don't have time to get back to your problem. So I think in other words, he really didn't know how to fix it. He looked at the obvious things. It wasn't anything obvious, so Did he bailed. say that Norm Cold advised him to do anything? No, or? no okay. he did not. He just bailed out. And we said, well, then we started looking. I think you looked, I think you found Ford. I did. On I, the went, internet. I went online, put in what our problem was, and up. You guys popped up right away, and I was kind of all excited. Called Bob. Bob got on and watched the videos. Watched a couple of your videos and uh, said, "Yay! So we don't have to spend all that money for a new refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go." Because at one time, that's what he advised you may have to replace yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, he did. So then we just we're heading to Texas right now. So we just re did a little rerouting to come through Benton, Kentucky, and here we are. And you guys got us back in shape by doing a service, I think. You right, a just a clean and adjust is all that was necessary. And basically, um, when you originally checked the temperatures when you were here, and after the clean and adjust was done, just shortly after you checked the temperatures, and it had improved. Yeah, it dropped. We were in the mid to upper 40s, running on LP. And after the cleaning and the service, our last reading was 27. And, and again, the reason we're doing the videos is just to educate people. It's not always the high dollar, you know, replacement, replacing the cooling unit, replacing the refrigerator. Seems to be the problem is finding a tech that is qualified to know how to work on the refrigerator. And luckily, they found us on YouTube. <laughs> yep. And then your, your website is uh, bookmarked in my browser. So. Good. A couple hours later, running a refrigerator for only a, less than a couple hundred dollars <laughs> versus thousands of dollars for a brand new refrigerator. Yay, thank you. That's, that's Which is what a lot of people about. recommend. You know, I mean, I, I think, well, it doesn't matter what I think, but it, no, it, it, it is important what you think. Well, what I think is that big repair places, should I mention names? No, I wouldn't but, mention any names. Okay, but big repair places are in cahoots with the manufacturers. It's because they both make money if we take out the whole $4,000 unit and replace it with another $4,000 unit. They're all kind of interconnected. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you're being polite. I say they're in cahoots. <laughs> and you can edit that out if you'd like. <laughs> and, and you actually got to meet some other people. There's some other people here today. They came all the way from West Virginia. Virginia. Excuse me, Virginia. <laughs> And uh, they had a fifth wheel like you and a 1200 like you, so you guys have had a lot of time to communicate yeah. and share things. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, it's been a good experience. Good.
Good. Your the main thing is RV service. You got a working refrigerator. Absolutely. You're going to spend a few days around to make sure there's no other issues. If there is, you're going to let us know. We're going to do everything we can to help. Absolutely. Um, is there anything else you'd like to say to just to help educate people that it's you know not always the big dollar? Yeah. Well, I just wish there were more Fords around the country. You know that you could go to somebody who doesn't want you to throw away your totally throw away your refrigerator, but rather fix it. Right. But it's hard to find. It's hard to find people who know what they're doing. And that's what we're trying to change. And, and you doing this video is helping us do that, and we appreciate it. All right. All right. Um, if you have any problems, go to our website, rvrefrigeration.com. Hopefully there's information there that can help you. And thanks for watching. GBYY. Thank you.